This is Stefan Viet, who, who runs Action Mobile in Salzburg, or near Salzburg, in Austria. That's great correct. place to be. I was there in May of this year, Fairy Tale City. <laughs> Stefan, how long have you been running this business? We run this business since uh, 1979. My father-in-law started with this business. Uh, he went to the um, uh, northern part of Africa and especially to Iceland and it was very wet and cold uh, uh, during summertime. He went uh, with, a, with a roof tent and a Land Rover. It was a Land Rover 88. And uh, so um, uh, the, the, the idea uh, uh, appeared and um, that was the beginning of Action Mobile in 1979. Well, I sympathize because I was in the army uh, not much later than when he was there and I can recall what it was like yeah. in, in the rain in our yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and snow in August and so on so uh, so he decided to to have a solid box uh, instead of a roof tent and so what was the first vehicle the first vehicle was uh, it was on this uh, Land Rover but on a longer wheelbase it was uh, 109. He cut off the, the, the rear body and he put on a, um, a box made of aluminium and steel. And this he used himself? He used it uh, himself. And um, on the ferries, when he, when he uh, drove to Africa or Iceland, uh, a lot of people came to him and uh, asked him where to buy this uh, this kind of bodies and trucks, and so he decided to uh, uh, to begin with uh, with uh, to starting the, the, the production, and that was the beginning of Action Mobile. Very good. But from a Land Rover to a huge vehicle like we have here, that is a very long way to go. It is a very long way to go uh, since 1979. Uh, almost 38 years, mm -hmm. yes, and, and uh, the, the company was growing and growing and, and uh, the trucks became bigger and bigger with two axles, three axles, four axles, and we did uh, the first truck uh, with 10 tons, it was in, in uh, 1982, that was the beginning of this uh, truck area, uh, 8 tons or even bigger. And what's the biggest vehicle you've done so far? It was a Desert Challenger. It was made for a guy in Saudi Arabia. He works with beans uh, and he is a producer of honey. I don't know the, the English name for honey? it. Honey, yes. Uh, and uh, with his bees he uh, travels in, in the uh, desert and uh, he makes a special uh, kind of honey. Well, I've seen pictures of the Desert Challenger, yeah, and uh, yeah. it's, it, it seems a, a huge vehicle to use for it's honey a, production. It's uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's his hobby, so uh, he does not need uh, uh, to, to sell this this, this mm -hmm. honey. Uh, he told me it's about uh, 200 euros or even more per kilo. Mm -hmm. So um, he makes it for himself, for friends, for his family, and uh, he has the truck itself. He travels with, with friends, as I told you, and he needs a huge uh, uh, space with a professional kitchen, with a cooling storage of uh, four uh, cubic meters, and um, it's a truck three meters wide, 12 meters long, and four meters wide. The basis was a former Musa carrier. Yeah, that's, that's what I and thought when I saw war. it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so it looks like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what about yourself? When did you start traveling? Um, I, mean, I started traveling, for example, I used the trains, uh, there was this thing called an interrail card, and I used to travel with that, uh, then I got I'm, a car, and then I'm I got in a this car. business uh, since uh, 1988, mm -hmm. and the time before I was a traveler uh, also with, with a roof tent, mm -hmm. and I met Daniela, my, my wife, in mm -hmm. 1988, uh, and two years later I... Um, I was member of the family and mm -hmm. a member of the company, mm -hmm. and we continued this uh, business since this time. Yes. And your father-in-law is, is he still with us? He's still with us. Yes, he's uh, more or less retired. Let, mm -hmm. Let's say uh, say it like this: he's uh, um, six months per year. He's in Namibia, 
Travelling with an action mobile, with a very old one, mm -hmm. was one of the first we built in uh, 1981. Mm -hmm. And yes, he is still busy. And he does some advertising for us, he makes his uh, great videos and pictures and so on. So, yes, would still you mind, busy. Would you mind if you said how old he is? Uh, he is um, 77. Yeah. Okay, so my mother's a bit older, but I couldn't imagine uh, anybody in my family doing that sort of thing. <laughs> Although I did once in Sicily, I had a 79-year-old former professor parked next to me who was travelling yeah. around Sicily. Yeah. But then again, Namibia is a much more challenging environment. It's, yes, that's, that's, that's correct, yes. Now, we come here with this vehicle here behind us, the Atacama. Uh, what can you say about it? This is a high-end truck. Um, we do 4x4 trucks since the beginning of this company. We are specialized doing uh, building tr trucks on 4x4, on 6x6, four 8x8 four, six six, eight eight, and equipped with almost everything. It's, we call it it's a green truck. It's a Euro 6 engine, uh, well prepared to go uh, around the world. Uh, we have a big solar uh, um, panels on, on the roof. We talk about 2.5 kilowatt. Induction cooker, we have uh, uh, oven, miele, of course. We have very big uh, batteries, latest generation. So, um, floor heating system, all what you can imagine and what you need in your private home. Yeah. Well, that sounds great and we'll have a look at it right now, but people will have to see that in a different film. Thank you.